let's get um right into the video. Okay, as I said, Cleveland Browns video, stay tuned for Ian's Chicago Bulls video. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about the same stuff, but it's a football video. So, yes, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that. And without further ado, let's get right into the stats for the team. After that, after we talk about, like, the, there's a new group that we have in the statistics. It's the franchise statistics that we did in, with the Blue Jays. Um, yeah, that's all I need to tell you. It's still the same thing, except the defense. We're going to be talking about where they rank from secondary and D-line um, on their defense. And then we'll still have hot takes and bold takes. Um, I'll tell you when it's a new special guest and when some of my friends will join into this. But uh, first, let's get to the stats for the offense players. Um, Nick Chubb. So he played 16 games, and he had 1,494 yards. TDs of 8, and OBJ's games of 16. Receptions of 74, yards of 1,035. Yes, the OBJ people were saying that was very bad, but he was not. He was not a good fantasy pick as their um, secondary receiver, Jarvis Landry. And their TDs were four. And, um, yeah. But it's still a good fantasy pick. Jarvis Landry is a better fantasy pick. He played 16 games, receptions of 84, yards of 1,174, and TDs of six. So, Miles Garrett was the only person I studied, but his stats were that good because of, um, what was it called? The helmet. Helmet to Mason Rudolph. Yep, we all know. We all know that moment. Uh, but the Browns D line ranked 22nd among all D lines, and yeah. Um, just to note, the Browns got a lot better of the off season, um, acquiring tight end Austin Hooper, which they already had a very good day, tight end in David Njoku. But yeah. Um, their defense, their um, what was it called? Their um, secondary and or Jamal Adams would play and Tyron Matthews safety spots. Um theirs was they're also in twenty second, so their defense was not that good. Yeah. It wasn't that good. It was decent and a reason why the Browns are bad. So um uh yeah without further ado we're gonna end it there for stats and tell I'm gonna tell you guys what I think the Browns will go um next season. So let's go. Um, the reason why I deleted the other videos is because I got a copyright claim in, yeah. Um, those are in stats from a copyright. I made my own heart highlight reel of Jack Harlow's ghost song. But, yeah. Um, let's get to the Browns, what I think they're going to be next season. So, the Browns did not develop a winning culture, still in my opinion. But, if you're a Browns fan, you're lucky you guys are going 8-8. Eight and eight. You guys got overhyped a lot. Guys get overhyped like the Cowboys. He said this is your year to make the playoffs. You have no idea how many announcers said that you guys would make the playoffs. You guys aren't making the playoffs, man. My opinion, these are the playoff seats. One Chiefs are one Ravens, but I'm gonna go Chiefs. One Chiefs, two Ravens, three Bills, four Colts, five Pats, six Titans, and seven Broncos. That's what I think will happen. And you guys aren't going to be in it. The Browns aren't going to be in it, like I said. You guys need to develop a winning culture before you guys can, like, do good. And in the ne next year, 9-7. and seven. Then you guys get the winning culture going, then you go 10-6, and six, and then you finally make the playoffs. So, Browns fans, you got to wait at least two years. If you got a two-year wait, that's good. Uh, that's not good for you guys because the Browns fans have not. Don't want to wait longer. They have been really bad in a long time. Um, yeah, but without further ado, let's get into the um, whole stats, um, stats franchise. Okay, so the Browns, um, yeah, like I said, they haven't had a winning culture, but yet they have eight championships. The Browns have eight championships. Yeah, and the Vol came from the 1950s. They ruled the 1950s, they ruled for 14 years, 1950s through 1964 is when they ruled, and then they fell off from there. It was because of the legendary running back Jim Brown. I'm pretty sure that's what his name was. And, yeah. Like I said, you guys really don't talk about your past too much like other teams do. 
Uh, but that's in another video. So right now we're on the Browns. Um, yeah, that's all for the set. Pretty sure that's all for the statistic part. And that's all you guys like want to see for the statistics part. The Browns aren't a team that we need to talk about too much. They're not also in the Trevor Lawrence sweepstakes. But the Browns last year, if you don't know, they went 6-10. and 10, And they got up with the 11th pick in the draft. And they picked Dredrick Wills Jr. in O-line. Which they really need because Baker is going to get sacked. And when Baker gets forced, it's a technically automatic pick. Because Baker Mayfield, when he's getting rushed, um, he always seems to go to the right side and... Teams know that's going to happen, so, yeah. Um, I think that's all you guys need to know about the Browns, and we can get into the hot takes now. Hot take, bold take, whatever you want to say. It is the same thing, but not, not, not really. Um, yeah, but let's get into the hot takes with Special S. Okay, it's Rudy here, and a hot take, a boy will take. Yes. You see me? Did you guys see me? Well, I forgot what my hot take was, though. No. Oh, yeah, my hot take was the Browns would make the playoffs. I know it's a really bad hot take, but, uh, agree with it. Agree with it. Yep. Take it out and it. Thanks, Rudy, for the hot take. Uh, my hot take on the Browns is Baker Mayfield will throw 11, will throw 15 TDs, 11 picks. And 1,234 yards in the season. That is my hot take on the season for the Browns. Take it to the bowl take with my only guest. Well, my bold take for the Browns is the Browns will be bad. Browns will be bad once again. Like I said, I'm very smart that the Browns don't have a winning culture. So yeah, let's take it to Aiden for his bold take. Pretty decent bold take, you guys might say. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's go to my bold take. Like I said, I already told, like, talked about my bold take in the video, Raffi. Um, yeah, my video, my bold take on the Browns this season will definitely go 8-8. Eight eight. So, yeah. Should have not been able to taste this moment. This is picked. Kendall Fuller up to get it. And that will end this game with under a minute to go.